welcome back to my channel and today what I'm going to be doing is like a Tuscan French country um, DIY for some flower pots to go in my kitchen window. I really think this is going to be so adorable. As you all know, my home is decorated in uh, Tuscan French country with just a little bit of farmhouse mixed in. So let me show you what you'll need in case you want to make this project, okay? Now, I picked these pots up at um, Lowe's. They were 98 cents, and they're pretty good size, and I have three of these. Now, you could, if you wanted to make smaller ones, go to the Dollar Tree and you get two for a dollar, but I thought they were just a little bit too small for what I want, but this would work if you want to use these, okay? So you need three of these pots, and then you're going to need, I have this coming up in a haul, well actually a lot of this coming up in a haul, you're gonna see um, probably after this DIY. But I went to Michael's and their spring uh, floral, they're 40% off. So I picked two bunches of this up because I wanted to look like just little flowers and maybe some herbs. Um, so I picked two of these up, and then I picked two of these up. I kind of think they look a little bit like rosemary to me. They're really pretty. And then I picked three of these up, but I probably won't use this last one, or I might mix them, I don't know. But two of them are really pretty light green, and you can see these little buds like they have. And this one's a darker green, okay? So that's the kind of little um, floral that you'll need. And then I'm gonna be using my Waverly Chalk Paint in Cashew. I've used it many times before, and I purchased it at Walmart. And the Waverly Chalk Paint in Hazelnut. I've used a ton of this, um, and it came from Walmart as well. Then you're going to be needing some of these little foam discs. I had I purchased a whole pack during Christmas when I did my candy tree. Um, so we're gonna be using this to set this down in. They fit perfectly in the bigger um, containers and they fit in the smaller containers as well. So you'll need a pack of these and these are, let me see if I can see. You get six of them and they're 2.8 by 0 0.8, okay? So you only need one pack of those. And then you're going to be needing some, a glue gun. And I don't know, I may try to use this floral moss. I've had this for over a year from the Dollar Tree. Usually when I use this, I feel like I can't breathe very well, so I have an allergy to it, but I think this has been open for a while, and I think I'll be all right. If I start having any trouble, I just won't, but you can use this for the top to cover the styrofoam. It will be gorgeous. I may end up with my um, Excelsior from the Dollar Tree, okay? Then you're gonna need some brushes. I just have my well-loved brush, and then a little foam brush right here. And I may use a sponge, I don't know. It's just a regular like bathing sponge and I just pulled it off. And I may use one of these little daubers right here. And I might actually use that brush, okay? And like I said, a glue gun. And then let's get started. I'm gonna flip this down and we'll get going. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is just take this foam brush and paint it right on this terracotta container. Now, if you've been with me for a long time, you know I love for things to look old. I just love it. So all I'm going to be doing is just going around and painting this with this cashew paint. And when I get it painted all over and I get the other two painted for time purposes, I'll be back. Okay, now the pots have dried and I just put one coat all the way around them. You can see it. And I went down inside just a little bit. I wasn't too particular on the inside because 
I wanted it to look finished when that goes down in there. So I've painted all three the same way and I didn't bother with the bottom, all right? Now we're just gonna take our Waverly chalk paint in hazelnut. And like I said, I always get this at Walmart. You can buy it online as well, I've seen. But it's the Waverly chalk paint in hazelnut and it's just that rich golden brown. Okay, and what I think I'm gonna do with this is just pour out a very small amount. And just start tapping to get a lot of this off. Like I always do, just press down to get a lot of that off because you don't want a lot on your brush or it'll just get everything, that color. And I just wanna hit it in places, and this is so porous it dries very quickly. I just want it to look old, like it's been there for a while. And around the top, it will pick up more because of the the edge. And just do it till you're happy with it. Okay. And I like this effect. It just looks old, like it's been there for a while. And I'm gonna go on the inside and do the same thing. Just kind of hit it in places. If you get too much, um, take a side and just kind of rub it off of your brush because I got way too much there. I'm gonna have to go back and just hit it with some of that light and that will tone that down. You really cannot make a mistake when you paint. You really can't. There's always some way to fix it. Okay, so I have that one done. This is such an easy DIY, and you can customize it to your decor, how you like it, the colors that you want. You can make it look as old as you want. You could put, you could paint this and put decals on it if you wanted. Um, later, when we're using our Cricut, we could actually make little labels to go on here. I mean, there's the possibilities are really endless, but I just wanted to paint this and just make it look old, okay? And I'm gonna go in here again and just put some, because I don't want it to look brand new. I want it to look like it's been around a while. And you can see that. I just love this, it's so pretty. I really put out too much paint. Okay, and then you just keep going down like this. I actually saw some similar to this in Michael's um, and I thought, I, I mean, they were all right, but they didn't really look Tuscan to me, and they didn't really, I don't know, they didn't look as expensive as these are, and they were much more pricey than what you would pay if you would do it yourself. And I was like, well, I can do this and do it to where I would like it better. It would match my decor better, and I wouldn't have to pay all that money. Okay, and here is this one. It's finished, all right? We are almost done with this project. All right, now what we're going to do is get these little um, styrofoam pieces and just put it right down in here. And you'll see it snugs right down in there, okay? 
And we're gonna get our other two. And just snug this one right down in here. All right, and then we're gonna put this one down in here. So we have them all down in there. This is so cute. Okay, now all I'm going to do, I'm not even gonna cut these off, I don't think. I'm gonna put, I, I think I would like to put them at angles, we'll see. So I'm gonna take this one and I've, it has this little um, band here and I've pushed it up as far as I can get. And I'm just gonna push that down in there like that. Then I'm gonna take this one, do the same thing. And that's what we have so far. That is gorgeous, I love it. Mm. Okay, now we're gonna take this and do the same principle at an angle. And kind of straight up too with this one, okay? We're going to have our very own herb garden. <laughs> or what looks like herbs to me. Even if they're not, they're pretty. They could be beautiful flowers in your kitchen. Now that one's gonna to have to go a little closer together. I could put maybe this green one in with this one. I think I might, right in the middle to make it look a little fuller, okay? Now, all we have to do, oh, I hope I can use this. You're not even gonna need a glue gun. I take it back. We're just gonna drop a little bit of this right down in the top, and I'm gonna use a very little because bit. Because I may have to take mine out and put some Excelsior in there. But this is what we have. That is adorable. So I'll put that over there. Then I'll get this one. If you would see this out, you would pay so much money, especially if the pots were painted. The ones at Michael's didn't have the pots painted. And here is this one. <laughs> I love them. Oh my gosh. It just looks like you can go pick your herbs. Throw this one in the back. Like I said, I'm not gonna use a lot. I don't dare, okay? And then here is this one. So let me clean this up and I'll show you what it looks okay, like. Okay, here are my little pots. I couldn't be happier with them. Here's this one. It just looks like to me, like I said, herbs growing. And even if it, it's just flowers, it's beautiful. And there's the pots and you look inside and it just looks real to me. I love it. Then here is this one. It is so pretty and they had uh, like purple, lavender, different colors. But I love this one as well. And then here is this one. I just think it is so pretty and it doesn't bother me that it looks kind of wild because it looks real to me. But you could put a third one in there if you wanted but I'm not going to. I really like the, the wild look. Okay, so there they are together. I think they are adorable. I'm going to try to show you how they look in my kitchen window. It's a little hard because I have so much sun coming in, but we'll do our best. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys. Well, I don't think that helped much, but you can see them. Here they are. I just love them. That might help. It just looks so pretty, I think. It looks so Tuscan and even farmhouse and French country, but I love them. I think maybe you can see them a little bit better that way. But I definitely wanted to show them to you. So like I said, um, if you would see these out, you would pay a lot of money for these. 
So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.